Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of Tig Time. Hi, I'm Mr. Tig, and in today's segment, we're going to talk about argon regulators. And, you know, it sounds like a pretty boring subject, but if you're going to Tig Weld, you need to know what's out there and what's with your system, and how do you refine it? How do you make it better? So we happen to have a plethora of regulators here, and I'm going to show you what I use. Uh, I've got one over here to my right, and I'm going to show it to you. You're going to find this on a lot of welding systems, and it's, it's, it's just okay. It gets the job done. But what you want to do is see if you've got the two different, uh, two different readings here. One of them is for the pressure in your argon bottle. The other one is for your fine pressure if you're adjusting to 10 or 15 CFH. So the smaller it is, a little harder to read. It'll work. Uh, I'm just going to call it average at best, and in many cases, it's not even average. So take a look at it. This one um, doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so it's, uh, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, I put it in the $25 to $30 category. Uh, don't really approve it, uh, and I'm going to be going through with, with this little uh, insignia. Actually, it's a label, and it's a Mr. Tig approved. So if you have this, keep using it. If you want to improve your system, I'm going to show you some options that you've got. But this one is not Mr. Tig approved. I've got another one here, and it looks pretty good. And actually, it's beefy. Uh, you can feel the weight to it. You can see that it was made you know, fairly decent. Uh, what, I, what I like and what I don't like about it is I do like the fine increments in the tube. Okay, so I can see the, the pressure in the bottle, and then I can measure how much argon I'm going to have. The problem that I see here is that it's in liters per minute. And the problem with being liters per minute domestically, we don't set up a lot of procedures in liters per minute. So that's kind of a bummer. Now right here, you'll notice that it's got a, a, a nipple or a hose has to pop on here. I don't like that configuration because you can get too much leakage here. So as good as this looks and as heavy and robust as it is, it's, uh, you know, it's about a $45 uh, cost for this type of regulator, for this brand anyway. Uh, but it just doesn't pass the Mr. Tig approval. So let's set it down and, and keep moving. Okay, now I picked this one up. And weight-wise, it's, it's pretty robust. Certainly isn't commercial, but it's, um, it's a, a decent size, a decent weight. Uh, it has a decent price to it as well. It also reads in increments of uh, 50, up to 50 CFH of argon. So that's a plus. So you've got an argon reading, you've got a helium reading on one side, and you have a CO2 argon reading on the other side. So this is kind of a multi-purpose regulator. Uh, its cost is about $69. Now one thing you probably notice is this high pressure hose. If you buy this, make sure you get the hose with it. Uh, otherwise, an added cost for this hose can be anywhere from $10 to $20. Just wanted to let you know. Okay, now this unit right here you know, visually, it looks more robust, and when you pick it up, it certainly is robust. Uh, now, this unit is manufactured by a company called Harris Calorific, and this is an industrial regulator, and very, very popular in the industry. Uh, again, weight-wise, it's got a lot of brass to it. It gives you readings in, in, in two different uh, types of gases. It gives you argon and helium. It is CFH, so definitely is preferred. So a uh, good unit, it's an industrial, uh, a good thumbs up. And I just wanted to point out that I've got the same regulator right here with the hose on it. Uh, these are not cheap at all. For instance, uh, when you look this one up, you're gonna find that it's gonna cost you somewhere around $129 to $139. Uh, you're gonna add another $15 or so uh, adding the hose to it. So. I want to finally move over to this unit right here. And this has become one of my most favorite uh, when I'm welding in industry. If I'm doing some stainless steel where I have to do some purging, or if I'm doing titanium where I have to do purging. And you'll notice that it is a robust uh, piece of equipment here. It's got you know two sight pipes here. You can adjust this up to 60 CFH individually. So if you're purging out something and you just want it to be at 10 CFH, great and you need to do a super purge over here 
everything is independent. So you only have to have one argon bottle as opposed to two, uh, and that's a real plus. Now, this unit right here, uh, it, it ranges from about $190, and depending on what brand it is. This one happens to be a Gentech brand, but uh, these things go all the way up to about $350. So they're not cheap, and they're not for the everyday user. Okay, so what I want to do is I really want to identify value here. You know, we talked about the regulators. We've talked about industrial versus uh, some pretty good regulators versus some not so good. So I just want to go from, from left to right. It's a pretty hefty price. It's not a fantastic value because it's uh, typically over $200. I do give it the Mr. Tig approval. It functions very, very well. Uh, same as these industrial regulators from Harris with their cable. Uh, you know, give them a thumbs up. Again, you're talking $139, $149. So with that said, does that fit the economical level that we want to be at? And I'm talking about the beginning welder. Uh, really, the best value that you're going to get is this unit right here, and it's $69 with the hose. So it's called an MT50, and that stands for Mr. Tig. 50 CFH in argon is what it'll go up to. So just know that this is the preferred uh, unit, unless you're getting into super heavy industrial. Uh, these units over here, not recommending, so uh, I just hope I could share with you some of the information that, that I deal with every day. Anyway, thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.